Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Soldier Knows Best, and this is a video review of the Apple in ear headphones. And um, actually, let me take these out here so I can hear myself talk. Um, but these are the Apple in ear headphones. They're about $79 from the Apple Store, and these are their high quality, high performance headphones that they offer. Um, uh, pretty sure if you have an iPod or iPhone, it come they come with these standard headphones, and this is the upgrade option I guess for you as far as you want to get some better quality headphones from Apple. Um, but first things off, uh, this video we're gonna focus on the design of it, uh, quality of the sound, and you know, any issues that I had with it, and also is it worth the money, and do I recommend to get that? So we're gonna hit all those points here. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. Uh, but first, the design of it. These headphones are very, you know, plain, simple Apple look. Um, nice, decent design. Not flashy, not standing off, um, not showing off, I'll say. But it's a very decent uh, design here. They have these um, mesh caps here, these little rubber mesh caps here. Um, they actually go inside your ear to get the in-ear effect. And they easily come off. Just actually just pull it right off. It peels right off of it. Um, it comes... Uh, the headphones come with three different sizes, and I actually had to go down to the lower size to fit my ears. Uh, but they get in your ear nice and snug. Um, you got to push them in a little bit, and they get in there nice and snug. Now, they do come out from time to time. They loosen up. They loosen up just a little bit. I mean, you can definitely hear this, the difference in sound. Um, so it wasn't a, a huge issue, but they did come out from time to time. And... Um, um, that, and also the they do they do cancel out the noise very well. Like in the beginning of this video, when I had them in here, I couldn't hear anything in the background. Um, and when I was driving in the car, uh, we had the music on and the radio in the car going. I couldn't even hear it, even when I didn't have any uh, sound playing in these things. I can barely hear anything in the background. So as far as noise canceling, these headphones do great as far as noise canceling. Now. Um, um, the quality of the sound coming from these headphones is decent. It's definitely better than the standard headphones that come with every Apple product. Um, it sounds crisp and clear even when I turn the volume all the way up on whatever I was playing it and using these headphones on, whether, there's, whether I was using it on my MacBook Pro, my iMac, or my iPhone. I turned the volume all the way up. Everything stays clear. It wasn't any distortion, and the bass was pretty loud and clear and decent. Um, the bass isn't really... Thumping, thumping like a a Bose or a uh, Dr. Dre uh, beat headphones will be. I'm, I'm assuming. I haven't listened to those yet. Uh, but the bass was very clear and crisp. It wasn't super loud, super duper loud. But didn't it bang my head. I was probably looking for a little bit more um, to it. But it definitely was decent. And if you're not one of those people that needs a lot of bass, this is just fine. And um, so the quality of them is decent. Uh, very decent quality. Better than the standard headphones. Um, now, the couple of problems that I've run into, run into with these headphones is that um, when I plugged it, when I initially got it, and I plugged it into my MacBook Pro, only one of the headphones worked. My left um, headphone here was the only one that worked. My right one was completely silent. I don't know why that was. Um, this was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but today, when I was shooting this video, I decided to go ahead and give it another shot right before I shot this video. And uh, both of them were working fine. I was able to hear sound out of both of them. So... It may have been just a temporary thing, something like that, but um, uh, that's one of the problems I've had. And also, um, about a couple hours into it, the uh, the same earbud, actually, when I had it in my iPhone, um, the sound really became muffled. And I thought it was, well, originally, um, these headphones come with like a little mesh, a steel mesh cap that goes inside there. I do not have that on right now, but it's a little mesh cap that goes right on there, screws right there. And um, it prevents any dirt and debris to get inside the headphones. And so I originally thought while the sound was muffled that it maybe got some earwax or something in there. So I screwed that off and I held it up and didn't see any major things to it. It was pretty clear. Put it back on, same result. So ultimately, after messing with that, I just decided to take that cap off and listen to it without the cap. And it works fine. And so I did that for both of the headphones. I don't have the mesh caps in there. And I just have them open. I'm ready for debris to get inside of them, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but I just took the mesh caps off, and it works fine. Um, whether that was an earwax problem, I'm not ashamed to say it. Whether it was an earwax problem or not, um, I think it probably was, but I'm not sure. But I'm looking to that a little bit further, but I just took them off. So other than that, they work fine now. Uh, so those are a couple problems I ran into. Now, I'm not a big headphones guy. Now, I, like I said, I've been using the standard headphones that came with the iPhone for two years now, and I haven't 
personally bought a set of headphones in years, probably three or four years. Um, so these are my first purchase of them, and it didn't blow me away. Uh, they were all across the board decent. Um, didn't blow me away. I think they were a very solid design. Now, were they worth the $79? I don't think so. Um, and actually, I would actually, if you want my recommendation, I would probably look around first before buying these headphones. Um, I think you can find some better, at least same quality headphones or even better for a lower price point, probably around the $50 price point. I've been looking at a couple others. Um, so it looks like the $50 price point for some ear in-ear headphones is probably the sweet spot. Um, so definitely, before you go out and spend $79 on these headphones, look around first. You might find something better. And uh, so I'm definitely going to do that too to, to see and to be able to compare them to this. Um, so overall pressing, decent, good, didn't blow me away. Would I, if I turn back in hands of time now, would I buy these again? Probably not. I'll probably look somewhere else. But all right, it's been soldier those best here. And if you have these headphones, if you have actually experienced these headphones, bought them and, and listened to them and see how they work, leave a comment on this video and let us know what you think about it. It's always good to read comments and get an overall opinion from people here on YouTube about a product instead of just having my sole opinion. And leave a comment on this video. Let us, let us know what you think about it. And uh, make sure if you're not subscribed to me, make sure you do subscribe to me and be automatically into one of my giveaways. And I'll catch you later. Peace.